world of tea, exploring the origins and varieties of tea. Tea is a beverage prepared by pouring hot water over cured leaves of the Camellia sinensis plant, although other plants may be used. After water, it is the most widely consumed drink in the world. Tea plants are native to some parts of Asia. There are many different types of tea, including black tea, green tea, oolong tea, white tea, and pure tea. Each type of tea is made from the same plant, but the leaves are processed differently. This results in different flavors, colors, and caffeine levels. Black tea is the most common type of tea in the world. It is made from fully oxidized leaves, which gives it a strong flavor and dark color. Green tea is made from unoxidized leaves, which gives it a light flavor and green color. Green tea is known for its health benefits. Oolong tea is partially oxidized, which gives it a flavor that is between black tea and green tea. White tea is made from young, unopened leaves, which gives it a delicate flavor and light color. Pure tea is a fermented tea, which gives it a unique earthy flavor. Tea can be enjoyed hot or cold, and it can be flavored with milk, sugar, honey, lemon, or other ingredients. Tea is often served with meals or snacks, but it can also be enjoyed on its own. Tea Cultivation and Processing Tea Cultivation Tea is cultivated from the Camellia sinensis plant, an evergreen shrub native to East Asia. There are two main varieties used for tea production. China plant, C. sinensis var sinensis This small-leaved variety is known for its delicate flavor and aroma. It is primarily used to produce green, white, and oolong teas. Assam plant, C. sinensis var assamica This large-leaved variety has a bolder flavor and is used to produce black teas. Tea cultivation requires specific climatic conditions to thrive. The ideal climate is warm and humid with plenty of rainfall, well-drained soil, and some shade. Tea plants are typically grown in large plantations, but small-scale cultivation is also possible. Here's a general overview of the tea cultivation process. 1. Planting, tea seeds are sown in a nursery and then transplanted to the field when they are a few years old. 2. Pruning, tea bushes are regularly pruned to maintain a manageable size and encourage new growth. 3. Harvesting, tea leaves are typically hand harvested, although machine harvesting is becoming more common for some types of tea. The two main types of harvests are Tipping, picking the top two leaves and a bud, which produces the highest quality tea. Plucking, picking several leaves at a time, which results in a stronger flavor. For fertilization, tea plants require regular fertilization to maintain healthy growth and yields. Tea Processing Once the tea leaves are harvested, they undergo a series of processing steps to transform them into the finished product we know and love. The specific processing method will vary depending on the type of tea being produced. Here's a general overview of the main steps involved in tea processing. 1. Withering, the tea leaves are spread out in a cool, airy place to allow some of the moisture to evaporate. This process helps to concentrate the flavor and aroma of the leaves. 2. Bruising or rolling, the leaves are mechanically bruised or rolled to break down the cell walls and release the enzymes that will trigger oxidation. 3. Oxidation, for black and oolong teas, the leaves are allowed to oxidize. During oxidation, the enzymes in the leaves react with oxygen in the air, which turns the leaves brown and develops the characteristic flavor of black tea. For fixation, the oxidation process is stopped by applying heat. This can be done by steaming, pan firing, or baking the leaves. 5. Drying, the tea leaves are dried to remove any remaining moisture. This process can be done naturally in the sun or mechanically using ovens or dryers. 6. Sorting and grating, the dried tea leaves are sorted and grated according to their size, color, and quality. 7. Packing, the finished tea is packaged for storage and distribution. The processing method plays a crucial role in determining the final flavor, aroma, and color of the tea. By carefully controlling the processing steps, tea producers can create a wide variety of teas with unique characteristics. Tea Preparation Ah, now we get to the enjoyable part, brewing that perfect cup of tea. 
Here's a basic guide to preparing tea, with some adjustments for different preferences. Equipment Tea kettle Mug or teapot Strainer or infuser, optional, for loose leaf tea Spoon Timer, optional Ingredients Water Tea leaves, loose leaf or tea bags Milk, optional Honey, sugar, lemon, or other desired additives, optional. Steps 1. Heat the water, fill your kettle with fresh water and heat it to the desired temperature. This will vary depending on the type of tea. Green tea, 170 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, 75 to 82 degrees Celsius. White tea, 170 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, 75 to 82 degrees celsius black tea 195 to 205 degrees fahrenheit 90 to 96 degrees celsius oolong tea 185 to 195 degrees fahrenheit 85 to 90 degrees celsius herbal tea follow package instructions but generally around boiling water is okay to prepare your cup slash pot if using loose leaf tea, place the desired amount, generally 1 to 2 teaspoons per cup, in an infuser or strainer. Otherwise, simply place the tea bag in your mug or teapot. 3. Steep the tea, pour the hot water over the tea leaves or bag. Cover the cup slash pot, optional, and let it steep for the recommended time. Here's a general guide. Green tea, 2 to 3 minutes. White tea, 2 to 4 minutes. Black tea, 3 to 5 minutes. Oolong tea, 3 to 7 minutes. Herbal tea, follow package instructions, but generally 5 to 10 minutes. 4. Strain and enjoy. If using loose leaf tea, remove the infuser or strainer. 4. Tea bags, simply remove the bag. Add milk, honey, sugar, lemon, or other desired additives to taste. Tips. Use fresh, cold water for the best flavor. Don't oversteep your tea, as it can become bitter. Use a timer for precise steeping. Pre warm your mug or teapot with hot water to help maintain the steeping temperature. Experiment with different types of tea and brewing methods to find your perfect cup. There are many variations on this basic method, like boiling water for black tea or adding spices to create chai. Enjoy exploring the wonderful world of tea. Types of tea There are many different types of tea, but they can be broadly categorized into two main groups. True teas, these are all made from the leaves of the Camellia sinensis plant. The different varieties arise from variations in processing. Black tea, black tea is the most fully oxidized tea. The leaves are withered, rolled, oxidized, and then dried. This process gives black tea its strong flavor and dark color. Black teas are known for their bold taste and can be enjoyed with or without milk and sugar. Some popular black teas include English Breakfast, Earl Grey, and Ceylon. Green tea, green tea is minimally processed. The leaves are steamed or pan-fired to stop oxidation, then dried. This preserves the green color of the leaves and their delicate flavor. Green tea is known for its health benefits and grassy taste. Some popular green teas include sencha, matcha, and gunpowder. White tea, white tea is the least processed of all teas. Only the unopened buds and young leaves are used. They are simply withered and dried. White tea has a very light color, a delicate flavor, and a high concentration of antioxidants. Some popular white teas include white peony and silver needle. Oolong tea, oolong tea is partially oxidized, falling somewhere between black and green tea in terms of processing. This gives oolong tea a wide range of flavors, from light and floral to dark and roasty. Some popular oolong teas include Taiguanyan and Da Hong Pao. Pur tea, pur tea is a fermented tea. The leaves are piled and allowed to age, which develops a strong, earthy flavor. Pur tea is traditionally compressed into cakes or bricks. There are two main types of pur tea, sheng pur, raw, and shu pur, ripe. 
herbal infusions, these are not technically teas, but they are brewed in a similar way and offer a variety of flavors and health benefits. Herbal infusions are made from the leaves, flowers, fruits, or roots of various plants. Some popular herbal infusions include chamomile, peppermint, hibiscus, and ginger. Uses of Tea Tea has a rich history and tradition, and its uses extend far beyond just a delicious beverage. Here's a breakdown of the many ways tea is used. Beverage, this is of course the most common use of tea. The wide variety of tea types offers something for everyone, from the delicate flavors of green tea to the bold taste of black tea, and the calming properties of herbal infusions. Tea can be enjoyed hot or cold, plain, or with milk, sugar, lemon, spices, or other additives. Health and wellness, tea has been used for medicinal purposes for centuries in various cultures. Many types of tea are believed to offer health benefits, including Antioxidants, green tea, in particular, is rich in antioxidants which can help protect cells from damage and may reduce the risk of chronic diseases like cancer and heart disease. Improved focus and alertness, many teas, especially black tea, contain caffeine which can help improve focus and alertness. Digestive health, herbal teas like peppermint and ginger can help soothe an upset stomach and aid digestion. Relaxation and stress relief, some teas, like chamomile and lavender, have calming properties that can help promote relaxation and reduce stress. Culinary applications, tea can be used as a flavoring ingredient in various culinary dishes. Here are some examples. Marinades, tea can be used to add a unique flavor to marinades for meat, fish, or tofu. Sauces and dressings, tea can be used to create flavorful sauces and dressings for salads or vegetables. Baked goods, tea can be added to batters for cakes, cookies, or bread to add a subtle tea flavor. Beverages, tea can be used to create unique cocktails, mocktails, or even tea-infused coffee drinks. Beauty and skin care, tea has also found its way into the world of beauty and skin care. Some teas are believed to have beneficial properties for the skin, such as reducing inflammation or promoting healing. Tea extracts can be found in various skincare products like creams, lotions, and masks. Cleaning and deodorizing, tea leaves, especially black tea leaves, can be used as a natural deodorizer. Placing a bowl of dried tea leaves in a room can help absorb unpleasant odors. Additionally, a strong tea solution can be used to clean surfaces and remove stains. Textile dyeing, tea can be used as a natural dye for fabrics. Different types of tea will produce different color tones. As you can see, tea is a versatile plant with a wide range of uses beyond just a comforting cup of tea.